catacombs of comic book art, the other side of superhero worship. Meet Gilbert and Jaime Hernandez, creators of Love and Rockets. We thought everybody read comic books. Charles de Gaulle read comic books, for all we know. We didn't know it was trash culture that was going to ruin our brain. Thank God it did. We just took some experiences that we had that we had never seen in comic books or in any kind of fiction, any kind of movies or anything. There was no women in fiction or no good women characters. Like a lot of the women characters, they simply represent uh, uh, life and what's good about life and, 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 and sinking your teeth into life. Oops, naked people. Where'd that come from? Batman comics are trash, and Batman movies are successful. If uh, comic books made as much money as rock and roll and movies do, they would be taken seriously. I ended up doing my own comic books for myself, and then when they told me that it was professional, I said, well, good, now I don't have to do Batman. I feel that fiction, by just taking reality and, and, and then, you know, transmogrifying it and making, you know, turning it into, I don't know, using fictional characters and uh, a change the settings, you know, basically what Dragnet did, you know, <laughs> change the names to protect the innocent, so that means you can say anything you want. I usually like when, when an idea comes off the top of my head and I just plop it down. They surprise the reader and, and, and better yet, they surprise me. And then there's my male character, Ray, who I created to fill in the stuff Maggie couldn't fill in uh, of my thoughts and attitudes. Um, but then uh, a lot of me spills out into all the characters, you know. Um, I guess my, my pissed off side is Hopi. You know, and, or is he? Uh, the taller woman is Maricela. Uh, she's an illegal immigrant who falls in love with an Iraqi American uh, teenager. And there you see their budding romance, or is it romance? The story is changing, you know, constantly. It's, the story's never written, finished till uh, the last uh, ink on the paper. Electric Coffee Fusers, this is interactive television, and we need you to send in your video perspective on your scene. So let us have your stills, your videos of your favorite coffee house, your groovy video art pieces, and any other bite-sized form of video expression you may want to share. Just let us know what it is, who you are, and how we can get a hold of you. Otherwise, we can't put it on. 639 North Larchmont Boulevard, Suite 204, Hollywood, California, 90004. I'm here almost every morning. It's just a nice place to hang out in the morning. It's real quiet, the music's good, the coffee's really good. Hot House. He named it after one of my favorite jazz numbers called Hot House. And a lot of them. Um, John Coltrane, Charlie Parker, a lot of different people have played. It's more of a jazz blues club um, than a coffee house. I think it's a, a really nice venue for um, young performers, people that need a place to express themselves. I didn't really like the, the jazz atmosphere. I'm not really a jazz person. I liked a, a competitor's coffee house better. Um, but I, I liked the... Um, the people so much that I ended up coming back and now I'm hooked on the music. I was raised um, around uh, jazz and jazz musicians. My father was a jazz pianist. What I would love to see ultimately here is for um, Hot House to be a place where musicians would come in and 
talk to each other, you know, and talk about music and jazz musicians and uh, somewhere for them to hang out. If there's anyone out there, you know, just bebop well, musicians or something that hanging out of the union and <laughs> don't have anywhere to go, I would, that's ultimately what I would love to see. This is a haven for them. You can come and pick a book from the from the library and just sit and browse through it. I think you like some of the major chains. I don't like that. I like to, these people, they know my name. Um, they take the time to chat with me. We get to know each other. You go into a lot of coffee houses and they definitely seem child unfriendly. You know, and I'd like to think that um, anybody can come here, families, and I mean, that's part of life. That's part of the whole fiber. You know, so people have kids, people have families. I don't see why they shouldn't be included. He's got to get his Java fix every morning. Electric, electric, electric.